Imagine the same substance existing as a solid, a liquid and a gas, all at the same time. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? It's what's known as the triple point and we are going to demonstrate it now. Any pure substance can exist in three phases. It can be a solid, a liquid or a gas. We can show these phases using a pressure temperature diagram called a PT diagram. This graph shows the location of the different phases of a pure substance in relation to pressure and temperature, with pressure P on the vertical axis and the temperature T on the horizontal axis. The three phases are separated from each other by so-called separation lines. There is a melting line between the solid and the liquid phase, a sublimation line between the solid and the gaseous phase, and the vaporization line between the liquid and the gaseous phase. The triple point is the location where all of these lines meet. It is specified by a certain pressure and temperature that is characteristic for each substance. If a pure substance is at these specified temperature and pressure values, all three phases will be present at the same time. One says that the three phases coexist. Pure water has a triple point temperature of 0.01 degrees Celsius and a triple point pressure of 611.5 Pascal. This is the same as about 0.6% of the usual atmospheric pressure. At this point, water will exist both as ice, as liquid and as vapor. Let's see what this looks like in practice. For this experiment we need a vacuum chamber which is connected to a vacuum pump. A combined pressure and temperature sensor is connected to the hose between chamber and pump. It is also connected to a PC via USB and values of absolute pressure and temperature in degrees Celsius can be shown on the screen. Inside the chamber we place a petri dish with liquid water. After the chamber has been sealed the pump is switched on. Both pressure and temperature start decreasing immediately. During evacuation, the liquid water starts to boil as the pressure drops to the saturation pressure at the given temperature. The glass beads reduce the splashing of water during boiling while the pressure decreases. They will also provide nucleation sites for the other two phases. While the pressure drops quite quickly, it takes longer for the temperature to approach values around 0.01 degrees Celsius. Unfortunately, our pressure sensor cannot measure below 1.2 kPa, but we will see later that the pressure is low enough as the water will be in all three phases. This can, however, take a few minutes. After some time, we see both formation of ice on the surface of the liquid water and that vapor bubbles appear in the liquid. We now have a situation where the water is boiling under a thick layer of ice. This is water at its triple point. All three phases coexist. The different phases are however not in equilibrium as the amount of water in each of the phases changes with time. When we switch off the pump the water will be stable at the triple point as long as the chamber manages to hold the necessary pressure and temperature conditions. Once we open the inlet valve and increase the pressure back to normal, we can see that the vapor bubbles disappear first. Small droplets on the glass bell eventually evaporate and the ice in the petri dish begins to melt. In a second run of the experiment, we also place a small beaker with sulfuric acid in the chamber. The acid attracts water molecules from the glass phase and helps to improve the vacuum. The steam produced during boiling eventually lifts the ice cap in a sudden motion. The triple point of water is used to define the Kelvin scale. Kelvin is the unit for absolute temperature and thermodynamics and one of the seven base units in the international system of units. At absolute pressure below the triple point, 
the substance cannot exist in its liquid phase. During condensation, for example, it will go directly from the vapor phase to the solid phase. This process is called deposition. We can observe this effect in nature. Fern frost can form on solid surfaces by the direct deposition of water molecules when the surrounding air is at temperatures below zero degrees Celsius.